Hey guys, you just saw the reaction between titanium and molten iodine. In slow-mo, it looks much more visual attractive than in reality. I experimented with other inorganic iodine derivatives to get similar shots. So the reaction with iodine monochloride turned out to be not as sparkling as the previous one with elemental liquid iodine. In the reaction with iodine trichloride, I got a lot of sparks, but no purple smoke, which makes this reaction more stunning. I also tried putting burning titanium on a spoon into a test tube with molten iodine. There were very few sparks, but I got a huge amount of purple smoke.
In fact, in this video I just wanted to show you the incredibly beautiful reaction between titanium and iodine in slow-mo, but later I decided to increase the duration of the video a little and added some footages of titanium tetraiodide to it. So, all these reactions have one thing in common – almost all of them form titanium tetraiodide. These are red brown crystals that hydrolyze very quickly in humid air, so titanium tetraiodide is stored in sealed ampules. This substance smells at 150 degrees Celsius and turns into a dark red liquid. When titanium tetraiodide reacts with sulfuric acid, iodine is very actively released, especially when heated. Titanium tetraiodide dissolves in carbon tetrachloride, forming a solution with a color similar to a solution of potassium permanganate. If nitrogen tetroxide is added to this solution, then titanyl nitrate is formed and iodine is released, due to which the color of the solution becomes dark red. Thanks for watching, guys! I'm sure you liked uh, these fascinating reactions with titanium. Many thanks to my no less fascinating patrons who continue to support me. Now I'm working on making videos appear on the channel more often. Please be patient. See you in the next video.